Hello and welcome to Rebels Radio Latest Interview. I'm joined by Slough Joint Managers Neil Baker and John Underwood. How are you, gents? Yeah, good, John. You? Yeah, not too bad. So, a 0-0 draw to kick off the season at home to Froome. What do you make of it? Um, yeah, you know, it's disappointing that we ha- we haven't come away with three points. I think, you know, the game probably had 1-0 written all over it. I um, felt we had the clear-cut chances. Um, you know, obviously two from Jamie McClurg and, and one from Eddie. Um, but I think we also had other chances on, on top of that, and um, I felt we deserved deserved three points on the on the you know on, on the way the game went. To be fair, so did their manager. He, he, you know, he thought that they were uh, a bit lucky to come away with a point, but also at the same time they could have probably nicked uh, three points. Um, uh, Mark Scott's come up with a great save right at the end. To be fair, so um, yeah, you know, but it's a it's a point, it's a clean sheet, and uh, that's probably something that we didn't say too many times last season. Um, and in terms of the team selection to start off with, did the team pick itself? Was there a few questions there? Uh, there were some tough decisions. Um, up front, was, it was always going to be difficult um, with the, the three forwards that we've got. Uh, we, we made the decision to go with Eddie and, Eddie and Putts. Um, and, yeah, obviously, we, Billy didn't pass a fitness test, so it was straightforward with Craig and Guy at centre-half. And uh, I guess the other the kind of tough decision has been at right-back with Callum and, and Sean. Um, there's very little to call between those two, um, but we decided to go with Sean today. Um, but you know, Callum will come into the side on Tuesday, so we're going to freshen it up a little bit Tuesday. I think obviously, you know, you still have Adam Martin as well, but obviously Adam's only done, yeah, um, he's done one and a half games pre-season and and one training session. Whereas Searcy, to be fair, you know, he's been involved in sort of three or four games and and he's probably trained five or six times, and and we just felt um, felt that Searcy was the right option option in there and only going with one recognised natural wide player and um, what was the reasoning behind that you know it's, it's the way we we set up in, in the final friendly on Monday which which uh, worked very well for us it allowed us to dominate the game and, and be very hard to to kind of play you know, they struggled to play through midfield against us Wilson on Monday and we, so we're quite happy to play that way um, in fact they did something very similar uh, Frome played a, more of a diamond in midfield so it was quite congested in there. It was kind of four v four. I wouldn't say we cancelled each other out because, as, as as Bake said, I think we we had the better of it, um, you know, marginally, but we certainly had the better chances. Um, so, you know, we, we we said at half time, you know, it's it's not a classic. Uh, you know, it was a hot day. Um, you know, the pitch was bumpy and long grass. It, it wasn't conducive to kind of quick, slick football. It was always going to be a battle, and, and, and we said at half time if we keep our, our kind of defensive discipline, uh, we'll always back this side to score goals. And, and as we said, we went and created three or four really good chances. On another day, we, we win 1 0, and we're sat here delighted with a deserved 1 0. And you, you can't always guarantee that the chances will go in for you. I think the games, you know, obviously t- today versus what, what we're going to be playing on Tuesday, we're going to be going to Biggles Wade on an absolute carpet of a pitch. and you know, unfortunately, the the pitch is probably the poorest I've I've seen it at Beaconsfield since well, since we've been here and since I've been playing there. Um, you know, which which doesn't help the way we want to play. You know, we want to play. We've got players who who can pass the ball, and and uh, so that that wasn't very helpful for us. And in terms of using the bench, obviously there was a, an untimely injury to Craig Scott in the first half. Do we have any more news on that? Um, I think he's uh, he's gone up to A and E for an X-ray on his metatarsal. Um, Looks like he might have broken a metatarsal, which is obviously not good. Um, he was magnificent alongside Guy Hollis. I thought the two of them were absolutely top draw um, today. Uh, nothing got past them, and uh, you know that be a, that's a loss. You know because obviously we haven't seen loads and loads of him today, or you know in pre-season. But you know the last two games he's been excellent, and uh, you know he could be a very big player for us. And and then um, obviously Jake Parsons has uh, has got picked up a knee injury as well, which uh, doesn't look good either. So uh, a bit disappointing on that respect. And so, would you have been happy with the point? No, no, we're not. We're not happy with the point. Um, you know, at home, um, it's and, you know this is no disrespect to Frome because they're they're a decent side. Actually, you know, they were very tough to play against today, but. You know, when you're at home, uh, you, you look to win the game and look, look to look to pick up the three points. And when you've when you've created the better chances and haven't won, then of course you're disappointed. But um, we've said it time and time again. Our biggest issue last season was defensively, and was and with um, being too easy to score against. And you know, we showed again today. You know, we're capable of keeping clean sheets. And 
that's a massive positive to build on. I, I still think as well as we played, sorry, we weren't brilliant today, but in, in, as much as we controlled the game and had the better chances and probably should have won 1-0, I actually also think at times last year we'd have lost that game one nil. We were, you know, we played the last kind of five ten minutes yeah, with with ten, ten men. Eddie had to come and do a job on the left wing. You know, we we were, you know, Guy was out out on his feet. You know, really really struggling because uh, obviously he's you know he's been kind of in and out in pre season. Uh, but we showed massive character and and um, I, yeah, as much as we should have won it one nil, I, I think last year at times we'd have lost one nil. So we've got to take the positive that we. We were, you know, we hung in there. We worked hard. We were well organised. Uh, it wasn't a classic by any means, um, but you know, we, we were very close to what would have been a, a well-deserved one now. And to be honest, with ten minutes to go, when when you've got, you know, like to see as who hasn't done a ninety minutes for well since Christmas, um, and you've got Jake Parsons who's had to come off, you know, and you, you're going into the last sort of seven eight minutes. Um, you probably take a point. I think we at that yeah. point we sort of said, well, actually, a point point's probably not a bad result now. So, um, so it's it's one of those. It's you know you, you gutted you haven't got the three points, but at the same time you're pleased you've got a point and we haven't been beaten. And something to take into Tuesday night against Biggles Wade. What what are you expecting there? Well, a tough game. You know they've had a great win today at uh, Bedware four two, I believe. Um, you know, obviously we 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 get on very well with their manager. Uh, none of who's, who's not actually around, but um, you know they they've. Uh, they, they will be a tough, tough cookie. They always have been. We've we've always had really good games whenever we played Biggles Web. We've always had good games against them. Um, we know we can go there, and we know we'll be able to pass the ball because the pitch will be will be absolutely top drawer. And uh, you know we we'll look forward to the game. And yes, we've got one or two little concerns at the moment, but um, you know we've got we've got some good options at the moment. So uh, so we'll we'll look forward to going there and and, and trying to get you know uh, th the three points. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time ahead of Tuesday night's first away game for the Rebels this season. Uh, we wish you the best and we'll speak to you soon. Cheers, John. Thank Cheers, you. John.